<laughs> Hello everyone, Dick the Can. Welcome back to Starfield. We're about to get a history lesson on the key. Crimson Fleet's home. Let's jump back into this. So, the key is in orbit around Suvorov. That's the very same ice ball where the United Colonies built a supermax prison they call the Lock. The UC is so clever. Supermax prison, Lock, key. Huh, cute, huh? Very cute. I have to go through a door. Nice to be back. You've been here before? What? Now, we've got everything the fleet needs right here. Of course, you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are king. What the hell is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nev. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction. You know, that thing I spend most of my day dealing with. Believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. Aw. And you always, Angel. This here's Jasmine. You need anything for your ship, she's got you covered. We'll hit up the depot next since these doors have given out on us. So anyway, we were talking about the lock. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. After stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. About time you brought us new blood, neighbor. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. You're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Aludra. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the depot, Rook, where you'll be lucky if these blood-sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Whoa, whoa. It's not our fault if people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Neva's just whining because she thinks she lost a ton of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah, sure, laugh it up. I'll remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. I bring you Back gear. To my story. I come with lots of gear. The liberated prisoners grabbed the key. They established it as a base of operations and began pirating the spaceways. That was how the Crimson <laughs> began. Of course, Jasper Cricks had a lot to do with all that, but uh, we'll get to him later. Rook, meet Zuri. Queen of the rare exports. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Oof. Neuro amps, blueprints. Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Blueprints. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, Neva. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. <laughs> the hard way? Oh no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the bullshit. Sure. Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. No, I Deal think that was a joke. A okay. With that, take it up with the boss. I hope on the you right, came with credit. You've got Bradley from the Trade Authority. I'm sure you know the deal there. He'll buy pretty much anything. Yeah, they're not the first. Then we got our med bay on the left, run by the one and only Samina Mizra. I feel Set like. You if you've got the money. We don't run any free clinics up in here, you don't? Know? Okay. I think everyone here should buy this anything. Our final stop. Over there, you've got the last Nova, where Bog serves watered-down drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. And right here is the most important place on the entire station, the Reckoner's Core, run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Another new Rook, Neva? I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit, given what happened with the last one. You mean Austin Ray? It's been taken care of, all right? I don't like loose ends, and this rook is the one who tied it off. Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. It's Oof. far more cost effective. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. The money. We call him our Reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. 
And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll breed creds. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Anyway, Shinya will get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're you done, bomb on his chest? I'll introduce you to the boss. That's what that Time looks like. Proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss, the official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yes, this is a bomb embedded in my chest. And no, I'll never know the meaning of the word humble. In fact, I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. It's the most clever security measures I've ever seen. Glad you approve. Obviously, betrayal isn't taken lightly around here. Since I oversee the bulk of transactions and maintain all accounts for the fleet, I'm a prime target for information. Should our enemies capture me or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, <laughs> you might consider me the greatest threat we have. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind and a certain degree of safety. Mm, I bet you don't get out much. It's been over five years since I've stepped off the key. Leaving this place puts far too much at risk. Now, let me get you set up. A moment while I convene with the core. Thanks to advanced modifications, even Ryujin would envy. I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. This allows me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run-of-the-mill cyber runner. There. Okay. You're done. All you need now is Delgado's blessing, and you'll be one of us. Time to make those creds. Uh, well, that was easy. Getting into the system is a piece of cake. Getting out? Not so, so much. much. Anyway, I need you to listen up. Thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy, we always have a steady stream of jobs available. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time using the computers that surround the core. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like we'll be doing a lot of business together. Chosen wisely, we certainly will. Now, I believe that covers all I have to say. So you can run along to Delgado. Take the elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. All right, listen up. You can all stop complaining. Atrium to car. Piracy and soul system. You see, I'm carrying a load of protein delicates. We'll be passing through the soul system, retrieve its cargo. Read target is a cargo of exotic liquor, stored at Lyra Firearms. Yeesh. Interesting. We got the medic lady. Got some help. Is there a magazine in here? I don't see it. Okay. Talk with her later. Not super interested in her. What you got back here? Nothing. But you're exotic goods. Well, prices may be high, but these goods ain't exactly easy to find. How'd you end up with the fleet? I was raised fleet. My mama joined up when I was twelve. She was a first class smuggler. We'd always lived comfortably, but she took the offer to join when a job almost went south. She figured if anything ever happened to her, it'd guarantee I'd still have a home. Valid, I guess. Oh, uh, quite the adventure. Been nonstop. Even as a kid, I was helping distract security in those smuggling days. It's amazing how just having a child aboard, especially one as cute as I was, can throw off the scent. Between my mama and the fleet, I can talk my way out of anything and use or fix any weapon and ship in the galaxy. Real life skills, if you know what I mean. 
Yeah. Let's talk trade. You can talk about whatever you want, as long as you got the creds. Got weapons? Hunter Wolf. Fair damage against aliens. It's a burst fire. I'm gonna change that over to single fire. Probably be a fairly beast weapon. Power beat. 72 damage. A 60 round mag. Va run pain blade. 11 fucking grand. I mean, I want to buy it just for shits and giggles. Same with the power beat. And it shoots shotgun like. It ain't shit. Fine Pirate Crusader Space Helmet. I don't think it's missing an eyeball, buddy. Dracula. Found a Monte Crisco. Portable CD player. Hmm. It's a random things. Luxury textile. Unique integrating resource. So it's going to be coming to craft. I, mean, I guess I'll pick it up because it seems super fucking rare. Oh, you two? So I don't know any better? You got me sold on just how rare it supposedly is because I don't know better always a pleasure yeah it is always a pleasure trade authority I used to work for a megacorp wore a monkey suit and everything seems like a different time Do you by any Let's chance have 7.5 ammo what will it be for you the fleet's got an impressive comp they even managed a legitimate doctor. Business on the key is like no other. It's the sole reason I'm here. Trish, I want and you'll fit right in. Not everyone thinks so. I'm still trade authority, not a part of the fleet. There are a few, Neva included, that see me as an outsider. Regardless, as long as the fleet has goods to push, the trade authority will always maintain a presence on the key. I mean, Always it's valid. To something mutually beneficial. You're here for money. They got money. Why does the trade authority give a shit? So you're specialized. Reflex sight, ergonomic stock, armor piercing round, semi-automatic. Suppress calibrated ammo. Do you have 7.5 white hot? You do not a lot, but you have some. All calibrated, calibrated. Talking with you, buddy. Good luck. Closed. Why are you closed? What bad shit went down here. Public access computer? So, tell us about Jasper Criggs' version of the Crimson Scar. All I can tell you is that under my guidance, the Crimson Scar became more influential than every other syndicate combined. Here I was. 22 years old, and I had power, people that followed my orders, and an endless stream of credits. Gail, I have to tell you, I was having the time of my life. So you consider extortion, robbery, burglary, kidnapping, assault, and murder to be...
be positive life influences? No. I consider them as just means to an end. They were merely stepping stones until I had enough wealth to buy the Crimson Scar for your spacecraft. Yes, let's talk about that. It appears you weren't satisfied with terrorizing New Atlantis alone. Oh, I've never stopped reaching Gale. The amount of money we were making in New Atlantis was decent, but the really big scores were in space and on the cargo ships. We're talking millions of credits, maybe more. Who the hell could count it all? Most people Damn. assume this is when the UC decided to actively set up a task force to pursue the Crimson Scar. That's correct. Those idiots in charge of the United Colonies were clearly embarrassed that they had allowed the Crimson Scar to make the jump into space. They sent ships after us. Lots of ships. I almost think that they enjoy starting wars. Perhaps this was the first time you had finally reached too far. You could say Scare that. the shit out of me. I count my time running the Crimson Scar as a learning like I actually experience. feel that in my chest still. That got me. I wouldn't say I reached too far. I'd say I reached too fast. Didn't cover all my bases. Made some stupid mistakes. One thing's for certain, though. So mean I can well, do I more than that to She's got a drive through every car. to think about. She's talking about money. Okay. Oh, anything hiding under there? Can't go under there, so I'm just gonna go with a no. Oh, that's the man himself. Apparently, this is the way I was supposed to be going. Hit. Oh, they will catch you, and it's all good. Please tell me you know exactly bigger. what materials you need. You know my sister. And you are still alive? Hmm. You either somehow won her approval or... Best not to think about it too much. Bad for business. I wonder if I bring her sister here what happens. I don't do small talk. You want to do business? We'll do business. You want to chat? Go see Bog. Veil it. Just to make it quick. What are you selling? Resources? Do you have the structural shit? Should you? Chess. All about that chess, baby. No titanium, though. Hmm. We're done here? Yes, we're done here. Got a magazine back here by any chance? Is all that junk really necessary? I wanted to press the bell, not pick up the bell, but I picked up the bell. And I'm just glad it wasn't thievery. Why isn't these things considered stealing? What? I'm just not gonna take them. <laughs> the right protective gear can make all the difference. Did you ever have on a raise with the others? Me? Nah, not anymore. When it comes to aim, there ain't no one worse. True facts. I mean, my friends like to say I'd have better luck talking someone to death than shooting them. <laughs> yep, yeah, my talents are best suited for making protective gear. Helmets? Vests, suits. You could say I'm a tailor, not a fighter. No, well, take a look at what you got, I got then. Something to suit your needs. Weapons, cutter, spacesuits, calibrated, calibrated, calibrated. You like the looks of some of this pirate stuff? Not all of it, but some of it. Yeah, so you have ten of these. Damn. Wasn't actually done in there. I 
it's weird how like different these are this one's really fucking cool though I really like that I'm probably gonna wear that see ya like I like the bits on it and it looks really good with this helmet Wish I had gloves, but like as long as you put the feet first, we won't have any problems. Well, well. Neva's new hotshot. <laughs> I knew you'd find your way back to my little corner of the key. Everyone always does. Your nice clothes there. Um not much of a corner. I'm not here to impress. I carry most of the standard hardware, you know. Kinetics, electromags, energy, even a few explosives. Occasionally, I stock a few smuggled items. <laughs> Basically, the stuff Sister doesn't want you to play with. Ooh, Just like what? screw me over, or I'll be inclined to give you a free demo. With your head as the target. I may be new here, but you can trust me. And you want me to just take your word for that? <coughs> Perfect. A little advice, Sadiqa? The fleet's trust can't be bought. You Valid. It. You bleed for the fleet, the fleet bleeds for you. Pure and simple. Anyone who says otherwise is either lying or getting ready to stab you in the back. A good chance we end up as pirates. I love pirates. Thanks for the etiquette lesson, Professor. Don't say I never did you any favors. <laughs> Valid. Are you the most popular shop here? <laughs> I'd argue Bog's got me beat as far as customer base goes. But when it comes to profit, I am on top. A good gun's what makes all the difference out there sometimes. And for some, the only thing they'll ever trust. What you got in stock? A new shipment. Smuggled goods. Advanced Kraken. Advanced Grundle. Assassin's Refined Maelstrom. The Big Bang. Calibrated Beowulf. I saw a video of someone saying this is one of the best guns in the game. Eh. Doesn't look terrible. If it was advanced, I'd probably pick it up just to mess with it, but like... When I used the... Like, I did use it for a little bit, but... Each consecutive heal does more damage. Fury. Featherer. Premium build materials made this weapon light as a feather. Why is that a good thing? I wonder how this is if you modify the trigger down to a single fire. Pirate leg end. Suppressed Old Earth Assault Rifle. Oh, well, I was kind of disappointed. Not gonna lie. I do have some point seven though. All right. Get better stock next time. Puts me up to 397 rounds. Anything ship related? You're at the right place. So, looks like we got ourselves a new rook. Yep. Once again, I'm Jazz, resident engineer here. I've read like that it's Nava Jazz, said, but Jazz makes more sense. Repairs? I'll hook you up. As long as your credits are good. Maybe double take it. Mm, I hope the fleet has a wider variety than the UC and Freestar Collective. 
It may not be wider, but it's not on the books, if that's what you're getting at. I can guarantee your ship will be in good hands. So if you're looking for an upgrade, let me know. We got the best selection in the settled systems. Illegal, unregistered, recalled. We sell it all. No questions asked. Recalled? Uh, these parts show up on FCR scanners? No, 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 no. You buy from me, you're worry-free. I can't have my customers getting caught now, can I? That's bad for business. Always looking for an edge. Anything that keeps the UC and Free Star Rangers off your tail is a must-have in my book. Just let me know when you want to talk business. Mm. Deal with you two. Neva's mine, so don't be getting any ideas. She may be a little rough around the edges, but she's just looking out for her own. Nice. There's no one better to have your back. Jump up on the key. <laughs> The fleet rescued me. Of course, I wouldn't have needed rescuing if they hadn't blown up the ship I was working on. <laughs> Delgado plucked me out of space and brought me to the key. I took one look at the place and was compelled to work. Soon after, he offered me a permanent spot with the fleet. Man, when you're a workaholic, that does happen. I don't mind helping, but it'll cost you. Mm -hmm. Here for I've sale. Got plenty of goodies to choose from. Let's see these pirate ships. Ooh, you pretty. It's the freaking cabin I have. I'm blowing some of you up. I'm definitely blowing you up. And boarded quite a few of you. Boarded one of you and blew you up. I don't think I've. Boarded you, but I've definitely blown you up. And I've boarded and blown up a few of those. There's a chance I boarded one of these too. This is a cool looking ship though. Um, it's a little derpy in the front, but. Here to upgrade that ship? Are you? Sure. All right, let's. What you got here? Another. Guess move off to the side so we can look at shit. Shield generators. Same old, same old. We don't have the best reactors. You ports, you got Hope Tech. Hope Tech knows B. Pipes. Got a lot of my ship parts here. So you got Nova, Strout, and Hope Tech. Same weapons. It was looking pretty standard. Ooh, your front, front bays. I do like me this landing bay. I fit you on here somewhere. Make it too long. I think it does. Ship. 
Ship size. It's two meters too long. And that ramp sticks out just far enough to fuck me on this thing. What's behind it? Galactic Infirmary? Rip you out. Slides you... A little bit farther back. Can you put stuff in front of it? Huh. I wonder if you can even get out of that. Without just like a shit show happening. Docker module needs to be on the outside edge of the ship. So no, we can't. Oh, is it consider this stuff not the edge now? Cause... Is it yelling at me because of that? It's just one meter too... One meter too far. So that technically puts it where we want it. Attached module still. Does that make it too long? Forty one makes it just a fucking smidge too long. Don't hate that, to be totally honest. I'm okay deleting you because I can get you like everywhere. I get that we have a problem now because of you. you to fill in that hole. Now I've just got this thing floating around. Just jam it off the side because fuck my ship right now. It's all nonsense anyways. I'm just place holding shit. Let's go up here. Should I might put this lower? It does fit there. Get into some jank here. Yeah. 
Took you back there. Put you back here. Let's find a home for that then. There. Sure. Good enough for now. I really like the front base so much more. 160s, 160s, 300, 395, 720, holy crap, 950, 200 mass added, wow, freaking beautiful though. Pants. I'm also not against a different cockpit because this thing's ugly and huge up there. But it's also just impressive. Can we move you forward at all? There should be a better place to throw that. Shh, temporary placements for these. Fletcher, unattached modules. Docker needs to be outside the edge, okay. Okay, got off a weapon placement, so that's just not gonna happen there. Hard no on that. can't attach to that. That thing is just going to be a problem right this second. Attach the bit to the spine there. Guns are an issue. I mean, you're available like everywhere. We're just going to trash you. Dockers, do you actually have here? Anything cooler than the one I'm using? Doesn't look like it. Unless I can make you fit out here out front somehow now. you're gonna fit out front even though it'd be really cool um I need to find something to attach weapons to Are the C type 19,000 thrust engines? Yeah, those are way better than anything I got. Just a grab job slapped in the middle back there.
That's a lot of mass. fit in there so the card will up top we're hitting I believe it is like that the 1400 cargo It. Oh, that's huge. It's way bigger than I thought it was. Okay, so that just not gonna jam in there all nice and conveniently. Where can I jam this giant thing? Making a mess of this ship. I'm gonna figure this out. Then we'll pick this up. Okay. Got everything attached to it. We have one warning. Weapon assignment is missing. Yeah, that, that happens. It's it's fine. Weapons are overrated when you're this broke, which I'm spending another 20 grand on this ship. But uh it's all good. I'm happier with this. Now I want to test out that freaking docking bay, though. Or landing bay. Um, so there I am. Getting to my shit from the docking bay might be incredibly hard. Bunks. Elevator. Where does this go? Operation next? center. Talk to the man himself, I guess. Ah, there is our other new recruit. So... Now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, right, let's just say they won't be joining us. Ever again. Neighbor's willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you, which means you've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. Uh, after what Nivea put me through, she better vouch for me. Um, I'm just waiting to catch in. Uh, I won't disappoint. You better not disappoint. Or you'll find yourself answering to me. That would be bad. All right, let's get started here. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits. No one retires. The only way out is death. You stay loyal or you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends. Fleet before family. Fleet before yourself. Damn. Uh, sleep before breakfast. Uh, oh, walls. Shh, got a boss. Boss. <laughs> Good. You're getting it already. I like that. Play the part. Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. I'm impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. <laughs> Since you two seem so eager to move forward, let's get to your next job. Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one of your little initiation runs. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead rooks. You'd think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story. Crix's legacy is no story, neighbor. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet, and if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Griggs. 
Crix led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. And if his legacy is still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. Uh, maybe you should tell me more about the legacy. Before Crix left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crix's legacy. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing... It's the One Piece. If we're gonna beat those odds, we'll first need a lead. And I would wager we will find one on Suvorov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. Crix left a lot of big talk on that recording. And not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. <laughs> Don't listen to her. When we get our hands on Crix's legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for UCC's death. Yeah, the unstoppable. Uh, will be unstoppable. Exactly. Now you play the part. Understand? Okay. Enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. To that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Don't keep me waiting. I'm like torn, cause like, I really like the freedom, the mentality of pirates, but also like they just grill, murder a bunch of innocents and like children, just do a bunch of terrible shit in this game. So like, <laughs> like they're a little I too much here. No honor. Last for hours. But now is not the time. You have a job to do, and I don't like to be kept waiting. When you, well, if you get back to the key, I am sure you can find some copies of the interview he gave to SSNN around here somewhere. I think those recordings might give you the history lesson that you are. They're not exactly for. like a Robin Hood story, as far as I can tell so far. Level 29, skill point available. Do I keep going down the ship parts? I think we do. Oh, I was hoping they would retroactively count. That's why I just spent so much time and selling a bunch of random shit on my ship. Fuck. Okay. Oh, uh, we need to look for evidence. I'm only stationed on the key until the heat dies down. Then it's back to raiding and pillaging. Need a drink? Bog no, man. I'm just looking if they left any shit around. Curious how, how far down the story you can go before you're forced to betray them. Like if you can get all the rewards for this, or if it's like a, you have to choose. Don't mind me just searching for evidence, everybody. Being super secret about it too. You might want to stow some of that. Just a suggestion. I'm actually overweight. Oh, yeah. Apparently all the ores I bought have added up. Wheat plate. Shh. Here are those servers clicking away. Captain's quarters. What you hiding here, Captain? 
You technically fit there. You're only an inside, so you go there. Is also only an inside though. And it fits there. It fits there with you to finish it. You fit there. That leaves this like that. Not thieving, but it ain't good. Hiding under there, a portable desk fan, Captain. Tisk tisk. So nothing there. God oh, damn it! Another one of these things just startled me. And like I saw the egg too, like I, I registered it in my head. So the poor man's... Let me just ask you one final... No, I wanted to listen to that. Let me just ask you one final question before we wrap up. Part 7. Go ahead. When is enough? going to be You're enough. Start something? How many credits does Always. Jasper Cricks need until he's satisfied? I should have expected you to ask such a stupid question. How the hell could you ever understand? You with your fancy education and your sheltered upbringing and your cushy media job? Me? I came from nothing. Everything I own, I've literally drawn blood to gain. There's no need to get personal. I'm simply trying to state the facts so that our listeners can make judgments of their own. Lady, I got news for you. Half of your listeners think I'm a hero. The other half are scared out of their goddamn mind, and they should be. Perhaps we should talk about something else. No, that's it. We're done. Can you guys get her the hell out of here? Make sure own. she takes all the sound equipment with her. Well, that's it then. Thank you for your... Actually, before you go, Gail, there's one more thing I would like to say. Yes, of course. Uh, what is it? When you broadcast this interview on SSNN, I want you to remember that I'll be listening. <laughs> if you edit even one word or manipulate my voice to change anything I've said, I will hunt Aren't you down, you down? Kill you in front of everybody. In front of everyone. You're badass. I understand. You have my word. Dangerous things to say to a pirate. But damn right, girl. Dealing with absolute badasses. You just check yourself. Say that again. You think I'm who? Stop playing games. We both know your real name is Lionel Soto. And you know why I'm here. Who are you? Ecliptic? An independent? I've spent two long years and every credit I had looking for you. Just we call you the system shark. Before I pull but the trigger. Hey, what's with the gun? There must be some mistake. I honestly don't know who you are. Of course you don't know who I am. You're never concerned with the death you leave in your way, in your pursuit of greed. You killed my husband, you son of a bitch! And now I'm going to kill you! Oh, damn. Ah, such a terrible shame. All that time and money she wasted. Ah, well. Better get rid of the body. Just shoot first. Just don't give your spiel. Just pull the fucking trigger. 
Oh, flashlight. Are you training for some sort of weightlifting competition? Not directly, but like now that you mention it, sure. Maybe I am. What about it, buddy? Just looking for evidence. We already found one. So back to captain's quarter. Atmosphere, please. I like my weapons like I like my coffee. Scalding. I'm glad you like super hot coffee, buddy. Thanks for the share. Ooh, someone likes old shit. Um, project Western Encryption authorized access only in property of Mazda Project. All content exclusively owned and controlled by Norwegian Industries. Oh. Huh. That's random. I wonder if I can bring that back to them or if I can decrypt it. That's a strange one. There were people in here talking. Now there's no people in here. Now it makes me wonder if this is the actual room the people were in. No pants. So a weird place for that to be. Someone get mad and throw that. It's kind of what it looked like. No pad tissue box. That's all the captain's quarters. Stolen artwork, sure. Huh. I'm just double checking some shit because sometimes I miss things. Like this whole door. Just steal the stuff out of their rooms and go down to the vendors and sell it to them, like, in their own place. Like, how fucking ballsy. Where's a key? Huh. Well, unfortunately, I'm not really a thief, per se. Anyway, there was a ping pong paddle that was jammed in the ground. I was like, it does not look like a ping pong ball handle. But it was literally just the handle sticking up to the ground. You have to put up, shut up, or die. Your choice. Okay, put up, shut up, or die. Got it. It's not the hardest choices in the world. When die is the only other option, you kind of just put up. Can we actually go in this conference room? I thought the waypoint was in here, so I avoided it. Tell us about Tell us about your arrest. Oh, my arrest was spectacular. Definitely one for the record books. You see security sent an armada after our little fleet of ships and picked us off one by one until the remainder of us made it to the wheel. For a listener's benefit, that was the star station in orbit around Boli that you destroyed just before your arrest, correct? You see, that's what they'd have you believe, but the truth is much less sinister. There was a firefight on the wheel when they tried to bring us in. We hold up, but you see security unleashed hell. The damage they caused was catastrophic. We only surrendered so we wouldn't die when the station exploded. Well, the UC says you set demolition charges to try and cover your tracks and make your escape. That's their story. You'll have to go with your gut on what you think really happened. Anyway, they took us in and tossed us into the lock. That lovely resort they opened on Suvarov. And you were imprisoned there for how long? Is this
this important? Well, I was supposed to be Because I'm pretty kill. sure you've been given orders. <laughs> but I ended so up serving nice. two years before I decided I'd had enough. Is there any particular reason that you started the riots that eventually led to the worst prison break in United Colonies history? Yes. I'm quite proud of that, actually. I honestly didn't think it would go as well as it did. <laughs> As for the reason, well, it's simple. The UC were treating us like animals. You just had to the in the lock were ridiculously bad and no one cared. That's why they stuck us on that ice ball in the first place. Out of sight, out of mind. Your escape caused the deaths of many that were stationed at the lock. Some would brand that as a bit dismissive for what you're describing as a protest. If you were simply advocating for your fellow inmates, why didn't you just go through the proper channels? And what the hell was I supposed to do? Send a strongly worded letter to my duly appointed representative? Wake up. Do you see only response to actions, not words? In my mind, there was no other choice. You know what? L let's move past my time at the lock so we can get to the point of this goddamn interview. <laughs> He's running out of patience. Tell us holds for the Crimson Fleet. <sighs> Changes are coming, Gale. Don't you have business on Suvorov? Crimson Fleet will soon be a much bigger player in this little game between the members of the settled systems. That's quite a bold statement. Would you care to elaborate? Well, let's just say that I'm on the brink of a score so large it makes everything else pale in comparison. They're talking about the temples. If you aren't willing to discuss the details, why grant SSN and this interview? Simple. I refuse to allow the UC to spin or bury the story, making it sound like they're in complete control of the situation. I'm gonna tell you right now, they aren't. Why does the Crimson Fleet need to make this mysterious move that you're being so evasive about? <laughs> I know Sistef instructed you to draw this meeting out as long as possible. So let me sum this up. I intend to make sure that the Crimson Fleet becomes the United Colony's worst nightmare. And nothing, I mean nothing in this universe, will stop me from achieving that goal. There are those that would disagree with you and claim this interview is grandstanding, or worse, a recruitment tool. After all, SSNN reaches every corner of the settled system, and your aspirations could inspire the Directionalist to turn to the fleet. You and the sheep that listen to your garbage can believe whatever the hell you want. <laughs> you were so worried about what I had to say, you wouldn't have allowed yourself to be brought here. Neighbors made it a point to hunt him down. You've got to be kidding me. I just paid him back the credit I owed him. I should have just shanked him and been done with it. Yeah, that was your first mistake. Paying him back. I've got a billion credits. I'd run my own city, like Bayou. Except in my town, you could do Aurora anywhere. So, Neon. Uh, I was curious if they were going to give me a journal update. Message board? Holy crap. No journal updates from that, but there's a lot of crap on that. Um, there is a freaking log up here. Where art thou? Right here. Guard specification interference, also need storage injector. It's not an audio log, but it's just more evidence. Cool, press buttons, did nothing. 
Had a great time doing it. It's pretty thorough, but like we're still missing so many of those freaking logs. Yeah, but I mean, if everyone on the whole damn ship can whoop your ass. I mean, she's pretty badass, but like, as someone who knows her, she's not like the end all be all badass. We had to go rescue her? Question mark? That's saying a lot, because she probably would have been fine without us there. Hey, what's up, Rook? Are y'all going at me? Board game fans. What are you? Circuit boards? Sure, we'll take those. Should make sure we don't steal. In my search for evidence. This one's computer. You've got stuff to smuggle. I've got the stuff to hide it. Wait, what? Are you looking to start something? Because I'll finish ship it. services. You need it. I've got it. You said you have stuff to no, sm hide smuggling. Hi there, everyone. We are out of time for this episode, so I'll see you all in the next one. Dig figure out. Bye, everyone.